in the ADA say that players often make the most improvement. Sorry. How can you be, how can you make that jump this year? How can you be better this year? I think just the offensive consistency, um, scoring a little bit more, kind of taking a little bit more of a leadership role. Um, I think that would be huge. Um, and then just defensively, um, I was, after getting that last year um, under my belt, um, being able to kind of understand how things work, who does what, you know, that kind of thing, um, being able to figure out how to guard, really. Matt was saying a lot last year, he wanted you to be more aggressive as a scorer. Is that a message that's continued into the summer? 100%, it's the same thing he tells me. Um, just, look, just look for my shot first, and then passing comes easy after that, so. How Z back? How big of a deal is that? Obviously, you know, national player of the year, but I think he does so much for everybody else in the team. Opens this stuff for you. So. Yeah, it definitely opens up the floor. Um, makes my life a little easy. Just kind of throwing it up there to him. Um, but also opens up drives, um, shots. Because now they're gonna have to play something different this year with him. Because obviously, he's, what he's done and you know, com- accomplished last year. So it's gonna be huge. Just having a full off season of condition. It's something you didn't have last year. Just obviously, these seasons are long. Might have taken a toll on you and Fletcher a little bit. Just how important now is this summer for you know, kind of building up for a full season? Here. Yeah, personally, I love it. Um, I hate it last summer. Like, I'm one of those guys, like, either let me run it all or don't let me run it like, at all. So, um, just kind of being it, I'm kind of excited because um, I felt like I was kind of worn out towards the end of the season. Um, I was tired. Obviously, I wasn't in the right shape. Um, so, I think being able to kind of have that, being able to play in these open gyms, um, being able to condition, being able to let through everything normally would be huge. Just how hard was that toward the end of the year? Maybe you're not quite 100% of your body's worn out. You guys logged a lot of minutes. Yeah, it definitely sucked um, just because you're not used to it. Like high school, you're only playing 24, 25 games, and here you're playing 30 in the regular season. So, I mean, it's definitely been a lot longer, and obviously you're playing with better competition. So, it definitely it took a huge toll, so kind of being able to have this jump start this year and this summer will be good for us. Did you lose weight in the course of the year? I did. I lost a lot, just running a lot. Um, I, I don't even maintain a lot of weight just because I'm always moving or I'm always running. Even when I'm not in the basketball court, I'm either working out or doing some sort of exercise, so I'm always losing and trying to put back on weight and get a lot of calories in. Braden, what was your kind of, especially after going through your first year, your method of self-reflection after the season, and how did that kind of transition into, into moving on to uh, practicing this season? Yeah, I think just kind of what I said earlier, just the offensive aspect and then the defense aspect, just trying to be able to guard better, um, use my quickness a little bit, um, obviously being in the weight room, kind of bulking up a little bit, trying to be more physical on the defensive end. Um, and it definitely opens up things on the offensive end as well as, as I get stronger. So I think just looking back at last year, I think just being able to pick up those two things and really work on those things will make a huge difference. How different can this team look with Cam, with Lance, with Miles, uh, Will, you know, guys that weren't playing with this roster last year? Uh, these guys are going to look awesome. I mean, we're already playing pickup. Um, we're already doing all those things. And just seeing them out there just gets all, all of us super excited for the second year. Some pretty athletic wings. Mm-hmm. How can you utilize that? Especially in transition. Yeah, definitely. I'm um, just being able to get them the ball earlier because they'll be able to fly over the rim and stuff. So being able to, at, well, for my job, I'm just trying to get them the ball as quick as they can because they're both, uh, and, and my, uh, Cam and Miles are very athletic. So being able to have those guys on the wings running, uh, they're always going to come. might have a little capability to be a little more dynamic on offense. I know Zach was so good you had to give him time. Yeah. I feel like these might be a little more balanced this year. Uh, definitely. I mean, Zach obviously needs his touches because um, that's kind of where we go from. Um, but kind of for me, kind of taking that leadership point, kind of doing what, I'm, what I did last year, but looking kind of more to score, uh, I think that'll open things up. And then having those guys, those guys can, can all shoot. Um, so being able to have shooters on the Early impressions of Lance. Um, I, I love him already. Um, he's a good guy. Um, kind of like what Dave had. Um, very similar um, personality-wise on the court. Very similar. So I mean, they're looking forward to the same thing, and I'm super excited. How do you balance like trying to flush what happened at the end of last season with, you know, using it as a lesson heading into this year? Uh, it's just a game. Um, like it happens. Um, obviously, it sucks that it happened, and obviously the the odds were obviously in our favor. But um, we just flush it and move on to the next year and kind of go for the same thing. Mentally, emotionally, how much different is it coming in this year, knowing what to expect? Um, honestly, refreshing, just knowing like what to expect. Just like you said, um, kind of having that experience under my belt now. So being able to kind of put what I learned last year and adding it onto this year.
You guys are pretty well conditioned now to play as favorites because you're going to be favorites. I mean, you see people in the ranking the top five. You've got you know, the returning best player in the country. Um, do you feel like that comes with pressure or do you feel like that's something that needs to be embraced? No, I don't think it's anything. We don't even really pay attention to that. Just like last year, like they didn't have us anymore. And look where we ended up. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the rankings are ranking and people are just, that's their opinion. So, we're going to go out there and play our way and do our thing. Can't you take confidence from it though when people like you a certain way? Kind of I mean, yeah, it can, it can, it. It can make it can make or break a team. Um, we obviously don't pay attention to that. None of us pay attention to it. Uh, we don't really care. Like, if you're number one or number ten or whatever you are, I mean, we're going to play the same way. Where were you when you found out Zach was coming back? I was home, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just got done with the workout and got home. I was eating dinner and then he texted us um, later that night and it was obviously awesome news. What was your reaction? No, I don't really have a reaction, to be honest. I mean, I, I expected them to be back. I expected them to just, I mean, tell us obviously early. So, I mean, we were all super excited for that. And so. Thank you, Brady.